30% at most of his like hits, of his stray hits and his neutral wins. And there was never a time a person lived past like 130 or 140. Like he was very consistent at just, hey, I'll get my damage. Hey, I'll take stocks. And bada bing bada boom, you win games. So the winner of this, I believe is the other person who, qual who advances. Yep. We got Kako versus Spice. Whoever wins this set will advance on to the next one. Good F tilt to follow up the hit, the landing there. Big play, but wrong direction. <laughs> it would have been great to catch the read of like roll in shield out of fear, but you gotta face the right way first. That seemed like a multi step read that seems, seems a bit greedy, didn't have a lot of information to make that. Read. It was, but it almost worked, is the scary part. That is true. Late up smash and try to catch an air dodge. We're seeing a lot more of so kind of what we saw earlier of going for big plays off of big reads, but either the read isn't there or the positioning is off. Good back here to get around the early up B. That was a little antsy on Taco's part. Ice is only at 73%. Even after all of that zoning. And great patience now that he's got the lead of like, hey, approach me. Yep. Like even going on the platform and going high, like platform camping. He is totally content to say, no, you come to me, because all of Toon Link's projectiles are really slow. So we can get around them really well with Lucina's superior movement. Oof, I do not like that up out of shield. That was really antsy, but no punish. Why'd you wait so long to do the up air? Trying to call it like an aggressive thing near the ledge. Not going for an aggressive ledge drop, and I'm honestly okay with that because that was like a greedy or too big of an edge trap. The reversal could have resulted in the stock. If you got the lead, by all means, play safe. <laughs> Spice is playing it so well. Taco can not get in. He has no idea how to find his lead. Like he's like, oh, I'll just, I'll, I'll keep throwing stuff. I'll try to do like a delayed move in. But Spice is like, yo, I've got great movement. I'll just run away. I got time. Good tech. Good tech by Tom. But Ed, Bomb's gonna blow up and save him. Good option to go out instead of just go to ledge, because that would have gone right into right into spice. Nice coverage of yep. the Jump. tether arrow. Yep, make it where like, hey, you can't come out after me. Projectile blocking you. Caught the getup. He's got a full like two stock lead now, because of this. He's playing with the lead so well. Oh, he held that. He wanted that. <laughs> He's just going for what he wants, and it's working. Why not? He's got the lead. He's not scared. And if He's you're scared, you would have got hit by those shield breaks and been big dead. You did it again. <laughs> if that one hit, that probably would have broken with that much charge. Taco's <laughs> forward tilt to take that stock finally. He's got a whole stock to catch, to catch up on. Almost two stocks. No jump. Tilts in past the boomerang recovery. Barely misses his jumping fair because of the boomerang. Catches the roll in though. You're scared, you're gonna roll in. Sweet. <laughs> You'll never defeat me. Uh, you know, if you try a certain number of wacky, high risk, high reward plays, one of them is gonna work eventually. And when you've got the lead for the entire game, why, why not, not go for him? <laughs> <laughs> why not? He took the lead and just held it that whole match by such an absurd margin. Like, he played with the lead so well. Play lame, win games. I'll run away and wait on you. You can't approach easily. Come at me. And it paid massive dividends. We'll see if he can get that lead again, because we haven't seen how he has to play from behind this matchup. We'll have to see if Kako tries to go for, like, big plays early on to not let that situation happen again. They're missing, but not getting the punish on the recovery. Right? I really like this platform, like up airs and delayed up airs, to catch like his panic options or his specifically his landings. It's paying off. Why is discovering the space and needs to cover very well? Oh, try to catch the roll in or a jump in, but a little slow. 
Yep. That's fair. People off stage with projectiles oftentimes like to throw them to cover themselves. I, as a rod player, much the same. Lasers and gyro to protect myself. But if you catch onto someone doing that, that mess ain't safe. Yep. So go out and hit them. That's the same thing as a Belmont player. <laughs> Just once again, playing Just with the lead the really well. Platform camp and you gotta come up at me. He's doing a fantastic job avoiding Boomerang specifically, because Boomerang's really good at catching people like jumping away if your timing is off or your positioning is off. But like I cannot say enough how well Spice is doing avoiding those boomerangs. Oh, Oof, I don't like up beats. That was just bomb fair. Why'd you bomb up beats? I used to catch a jump. He doesn't care really wants... with these shield breakers. <laughs> He's not getting punished for them, so hey, why not? Why not? Akko is like really afraid of them. He doesn't know how he wants to go in and fight them. Just run up and dash attack. Sick of the patience. Palm up there. Go. There you go. That's a stop. But 114% deficit. Oh, it's almost to F smash. Oh, wasted yeah, your good. air dodge, but he drifted just Make far enough away to not get this. Don't hold oh it! Oh my gosh! Don't just sit there at ledge, he can angle that mess! I didn't know that could hit ledge. Yep, you had to angle that mess down. And then, once again, we're in the same situation. Spice has the lead, and he'll just wait on you. Approach me, nerd. <laughs> well, he's catching out of these shield breaks, though. He might not be able to go for the big plays you wanted anymore. Yep, Kako's fighting his aggression now. Game is percent back, he gets up into the up face coverage by Kako. Oh, but really antsy with that F smash. Now the ledge is reversed. Misses the bomb up air. A big reversal like that would be huge, because that would have just evened out the stocks, and that massive lead that Spice was so good at holding is now, like, so much worse. Even now, it's not so great. 119 is not exactly, like, safe. Yeah. <laughs> there there you go. go. Just raw aggression, running up smash. None, none of this dashing back and forth, none of this will they won't they play. I'm just gonna go for it. And at that time, it paid off. Sometimes you gotta know when to swing. And you're seeing a reversal of fortune here. Now Spice is holding forward and isn't exactly paying off a whole bunch as we see Kako go to the platforms and camp. Ooh, went for a big like roll read or something punish and just not getting it. Good have smash to punish it as well. Great catch of the bomb. Taco blowing himself up again. He's got to stop that. You don't want an extra percent on yourself. Oh, that narrows him to catch that. Yep. And that's what? A little less percent. That might not have killed, but blowing yourself up two times, that uh, won't help. <laughs> Landing with bomb pull isn't safe. It's a projectile. It takes a little bit to come out. Nice finding himself with a pretty comfortable 2-0 lead with how he's been playing. Closer to that game than the last, but he still showed he can play his leads well. And Kako's got to find it like a better way in. Three, two, one, go! Bomb up there? He needs to be able to turn more off of his projectiles. I do think mixing it up with these normals is working pretty well so far. Choosing to scrap instead of choosing to like go specifically for the zoning is paying off. Ah, oh, I feel like he could have gone for a bigger play there because the bomb perfectly covered a tech roll in. So he could have gone lower and like charged at up smash or like prepared the up air because every option was covered. And shield. That shield was almost gone. Oh, nice! Call the aggression. Oh, no. call, call them getting out of tumble with the move. Don't press a button when I'm this close. I'll come get you. I'm just catching on to some of these blatantly <laughs> aggressive 
Pyrus plays from Spice. Not the rolling. Not <laughs> it's catching your habits of how when you're scared, you get up and to roll in. And with where he was positioned with that shield breaker, it covered multiple options. Nice patience there from Spice, waiting for him to pick an option off the, off the platform. Good adaptation there, didn't go to do shield break, stood there and sh caught the shield on the getup instead of the roll in. Um, regret. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Can't see what that up be, and then he's not holding forward. You got the tech, and well, I kind of missed it. But... Did he like hold down? No, he was a little low. Oh, yeah, he was a little low. Yeah. Oh, he's out of a jump. Bomb's gonna blow up and save him. And yep, missed the runoff there. You were a little sli little late. Good air dodge to avoid the bear. Had he tethered or something, that would've got hit. Now Kako can do his, his zoning stuff that he's so used to. He's got the lead. He can play how he wants. Got the get up. Got the going high. Oh, that's recovery was not a good play. You're uh, out of a jump. You're dead, very yeah. good. Well done. Great well adaptations from Kaku. from Kaku that game. He didn't let Spice get the big lead that Spice was really good at playing with. And then, like, when he himself got the lead, he knew how to play around it. He did very good changes in, like, how he was choosing to play neutral. He wanted to scrap a little bit more. He knew that, like, his zoning wouldn't work out until later. And he started catching on to some of Spice's habits and changing up some of his own. Like, he was making the small adaptations and moments where interactions would start adding up more in his favor. And it paid off very well. Opting for a little smaller stage. Hitting him and backing away. Lucina's real good at hit and run. Got him at ledge. Kind of backed away to avoid the reversal fair, but didn't get anything afterwards as the ledge trap. Catches the back air. Bomb fair, Bomb that's fair. stuck. Now I can just do the zoning game. Well, I just gotta work a little more on his rhythm. Kako is kind of caught on to his rhythm and is finding his ways in a lot better as a result. Like, even with options that he was previously getting punished for, like, he's doing his roll behind still, but now he's not getting punished Ooh. for. Great down air. Great down air. <laughs> Got him holding forward a little too hard. Let's see what that up be. Get him grab up air for it. Oh, High recovery. Good tech roll behind. And no punish. Looks by side B before he can throw a bomb at him. Right, what's the little trap? I think he attempted to parry that or that shield poke, I couldn't tell. Definitely seems to me that Kako's covering options a lot better. A little aggressive with that smash attack yeah. though. That was a big read that you didn't have. Got him at ledge. Kind of baited the aggressive reversal by running off at him and retreating back, but then didn't do anything afterwards. Trying to catch him afraid. Trying to catch him jumping out of shield. I was not expecting it to send at that point. Oh my, no! Bomb killed him and Boomerang and saved him. <laughs> and oh, then no, reversed his attack. Oh no! Y'all got a tech, come on. Both of y'all, be prepared for that mess. What a way to, oh. what a way to end that mess. Congratulations, uh, Hold James on to Spice. We'll be moving on.